Hi, I'm Alfred, one of the co-founders of Dashibase. Dashibase allows you to create internal crack dashboards super quickly. Let me show you how. Here's an example dashboard of our customer's information. I can come in here to filter the list of customers or sort the customers by certain columns we I have here. Once I find a customer I'm looking for, I can click on the customer to see more information about the customer. I can also update the customer information and then save it directly to my database. Super fast, right? Let me show you how to build something like that. First, we have to go to the data source to connect a data source. Here, we'll connect our Postgres database. Right now, we support all Postgres databases. Once you've entered your credentials, you can set data access policies. We'll allow you to decide which tables and even columns people can see and edit. For example, I can put a table under read only, can put a table under update only. And so for these two tables, people can only read or update or read only. And for these two tables, you can even set on a cap column level basis, what are columns that can be read and updated, what are columns that can be read, all the columns that can even be read and seen. Once you set up those controls, you can decide who in your company or your organization can use this data source to create their dashboards. Once that's done, you can start creating your dashboard. Let's hit create dashboard. We'll create a customer's dashboard like the one I showed you earlier. We'll connect that to our customer's data. And then this is the dashboard that you'll be building. We ultimately generate some content for you, but you can also start from scratch. Let's show you something we had earlier. Say we have customers with some instructions here like, please, find and update your client's information here. Let's add a divider. And I can add a table by just typing slash table and then pick the, the table I want to work with from my database. So here we'll select customers. And we'll make it generate a very nice table for you. You'll notice that filter, sort, and new are all provided right off the box. So you don't have to build them yourself. This table looks a bit messy. So let's tidy it up a little bit. We want to hide some of the columns that we'll not be using. We can also bring in columns for any joint table. For example, a separate countries table and a separate plans table. And then we can update all this column header. And then let's resize the columns so that it's easier to read. You can also easily shift things around like that. Great. This is not a cool part. After the table is created, you also get a single item view for each of the rows of the table. So let's click into one of the customers here. Here you see all the information about that particular customer according to your database. Again, this can be easily edited just like a Notion document. Uh, for you know, inputs that you want, don't want people to edit, you could delete them. For the rest here, you could sort of rearrange it to your liking. Let's delete this. You can add a divider here. And then all the tables here can be edited like I showed you earlier. Let's delete the rest of the tables for now. Cool. So this single item view looks good to us. When you go to any other customers, you have that same single item view as well. It makes it really easy for us to update this information, update the information about the customer. Perfect. If you want, you can create multiple tables on a single page, or you can create multiple pages as well. Once you're ready, you can save your dashboard and then share this with the rest of your team. You can give them access to just use the dashboard so they can easily find and update information using this dashboard. All right, this is a quick walkthrough of Dashibase. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, have a good day.